Let's check out all my isopods. Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverse and Other Animals with me, Phil. And as I said in this video, we're going to be checking out all the species of isopod that I currently keep uh, come to the end of 2022. Um, so yeah, kind of an idea. And um, have to let me know down in the comments if you like this idea. Uh, perhaps do a little mini series of basically everything that I currently keep uh, up in my flat. Um, so this is going to be the, hopefully the first one of this little series, which is going to be all of my ice pods uh, of 2022. So let's go ahead and take a look at my fantastic ice pods. Okay, so we go with all my ice pods of 2022. So first, I've got uh, Poselia and I these uh, Phronesis, the sort of powder blues or tropical greys. Um, this is kind of a bit of a mix colony, uh, really fast growing, uh, quick to breed, great for bioactives. Next up, I've got wild type Porcelia labus, <laughs> uh, another really uh, sort of quick breeding species and stuff. A um, bit protein hungry, um, so I just keep the all of these isopods I keep just as themselves anyway. But yeah, I just keep these kind of by themselves. Um, and I've got the classic uh, Porcelia labus dairy cow. Um, no isopod collections to complete without these guys. Again, quick to breed, quick to grow, uh, but are protein hungry. Then we've got one of my newer species, Porcelio species Cephala, uh, which I got from Doobie Pool, the Father Mystery Box. Um, so far, doing really, really well. I've seen a couple of podlings, so fantastic species. As I've got Porcelio specialatus, which are breeding incredibly well for me. Um, bit of a more unusual uh, looking Porcelio. Again, fantastic isopod. Then we've got Porcelio incarnis. Um, these are breeding really quickly as well. Um, very similar to the uh, other blues. Porcelio labels orange. So your giant orange uh, isopods. Oh, again, really quick growing, quick to breed, and just a fantastic species. Porcelio verneri. Uh, again, one of the newer species that I've recently got. Wanted these for ages, got them this year. Again, just stunning. Another one of my favourites, Porcelio Bolivari, and I've got podlings of these guys as well. Someone's called it the Skeleton Isopod. Then I've got the Armadillidium Vulga St. Lucia. Uh, again, these are a fair new one to me uh, from Dubia Pool, but doing absolutely incredibly well and beautiful. Porcelio Vulga Magic Potion, uh, you know, one of the most sought after Vulga species. So, again, really, really sun. Had these guys for around a year now. Here we've got the Armadillidium gestroy, again, really fast breeding species that I found, again, had this around a year or so, and they've been breeding really great for me, and they're beautiful as well. Then we've got the Armadillidium Clugo Montenegro, your clown isopods, one of my absolute favourites as well, the colours of them are absolutely stunning. There's a few uh, Clugos, but these ones I have. So Armadillidium maculatum zebra. Um, so these guys I got very recently, but these species or this species was one of the first sort of tropical isopods that I ever kept and became one of my favourites. Then we've got uh, Amadalidium uh, Perisei, again you can see breeding fairly well for me, uh, and just again another really nice isopod. This is the mini speckled isopod, I'm not entirely sure on the scientific name for it as I haven't really seen one, um, but yeah these guys are absolutely fantastic. This is the spiky ice pod or Chris Armadillidium. Uh, now, this guy are breeding quite well, but they are tiny. And here we've got the Cabarus species Panda Kings. I have two colonies of these guys, breeding really, really well for me. These were my first Cabarus. I highly recommend these to anyone getting into Cabarus. I've got the classic Cabarus rubber duckies, of course. I've um, got a few of these guys. They are much slower in terms of their breeding and their growing. They are much more secretive as well. And then finally, I've got my Kibara species, Lemon Blues. Um, and they're just stunning. Um, and again, doing really, really well for me. Okay, guys. So that was all my isopods uh, that I currently keep coming to the end of 2022. What do you guys think? As I said, if you like this idea of video, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, and I'll do other ones. Hopefully, this will be part one of a, like a mini series, if you like. Um... I can do like, obviously all my tarantulas, all my scorpions, and then perhaps like the miscellaneous ones as well, all my beetles, although a lot of them are larvae at the moment, as normally the case with beetles, uh, especially fruit beetles. But yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think. Uh, I absolutely adore 
all of my isopod species and i'm constantly looking at other isopods um, they are fantastic if you're not into the isopod hobby yet but thinking about it i highly recommend getting some isopods um once you're in it you it's like with anything once you're in it you're in it and so um and it's hard to be to pick a favorite species of them all so i'm not going to say which one is my favorite because i love them all i don't whether it be you know real cheap ones like dairy gals or the expensive ones like the Cavaris. I love them both equally. And so, um, along with some of the more unusual ones like my spiky ones, you know, and my Bolivari and stuff. They're, they're all fantastic. No, so, um, so, you guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, again, pop some comments down below um, as well, especially if you enjoyed this video. So, if, if you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload another video. And also, please do check out the description for my various links if they if they interest you. Basically, you know, there's uh, my affiliate link with the Spider Shop, which you can get some isopods from. Uh, and if you use that link for any of your shopping, I get a little bit of commission at no extra cost uh, to you guys. Um, there's also discount code for MK Exotics and Antscapes, uh, which again you can get isopods from Antscapes too. Uh, so again, if you're looking into isopods, there you go. There's two websites you can get some from. So. Um, and uh, I've got my Patreon link if that interests you, a uh, link for my merch store, gain if it interests uh, you guys, as well as uh, Instagram, TikTok and those sorts of things. Um, but until next time, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Take care and keep rocking.